Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. We're going to review basic graphing, so how to graph points, and we're also going to take it a step further. We're going to determine slope, y-intercept, and we're also going to write an equation given that information. So we're going to do a blue line and we're going to do a black line. So we'll start with the blue. All right, so I've got two points that it's given me. It's given me positive 3 and positive 6. So this is, remember, this is an x y point. All of these points, any points it gives you will will be an x y point. So this is my x axis, okay, and this is my y axis. I always start with x. So in this point my x is positive 3. So I start here at the origin. This is 0. It's 0 on the y axis and 0 on the x axis as well. Um, so I start at 0 and I need to count over for my x positive 3 so 1 2 3 and then it wants me to count up on my y-axis positive 6 and I'm moving up because the 6 is positive so I went 1 2 3 for my x now 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there's my first point that is 3 6 on my graph now let me graph my second point so I've got negative 7 positive 6 I want to again start at my origin, and this time my x is negative 7, so I want to count this way negative 7. These are my negative numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and my y is positive 6, so I want to count up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh, so in this one, when I connect these, this one's kind of interesting. This is a good one to do. So when I connect these into a line, you'll notice that this forms a straight across line. So that tells me something about my slope. Um, in my video when we first introduced slope, we talked about what happens when you have a horizontal line and what that means for your slope. Um, so if you need a review on that, go back and review that finding slope video. But for here, I'm going to assume you've watched it, and you know that a horizontal line means we have a slope of zero. Okay, now to find my y-intercept, it's pretty easy. I just have to look at my y-axis and determine where does my blue line cross the y-axis. So if I count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it crosses that y-axis clearly at positive 6. So now I have enough information to be able to write an equation. So remember, I want my equation to be in slope-intercept form. So that's y equals mx plus b form. So I've got my y equals m. m is slope, 0. Now, do I need to write 0x? I actually don't. Let's see it just for when, but then we'll reduce it. My slope is 0x, and x is not the slope, it's just the coefficient of the slope. And then my y-intercept is positive 6. Okay, so you could write that. However, I would expect that in Math 1 that we know 0 times anything is just going to be 0. So we don't need to write that. We would just write y equals 6. That's as close to slope-intercept form as we can get for this line because it is a horizontal line. Anytime you have a, a horizontal line, you're going to have an equation like y equals some number. Okay, could be positive, could be negative, but that's what it'll look like. So that one was kind of a unique one to start with. Let's come over here to our black line. This one's going to look a little more like what you'll typically see a lot. We've got a couple new points to plot. So I've got negative 2, positive 2, so I'm going to start at my origin. Negative 2, so I'm going to move over 1, 2, and then up 1, 2. So there's my first point. Now let me graph my second point, positive 2, positive 4. So that means I'm going to start back at the origin, 1, 2, and now I want to move up 4 on my y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so now, since I was only given two lines, I'm going to connect these lines. Alright, 
All right, so I've now graphed this. So I want to know what is my slope? There are a couple ways we could do this. So I do have two points. So if you watch my last video, you know we can find the slope based on two points. So I could do it mathematically. I could do change in y over change in x. But let's just for the sake of knowing how to do it. Let's try to find it just by counting, just by looking at the graph. So I want to pick one point. I'm going to pick this one. And I want to see how far do I move up and how far do I move over to get to my next point. So rise over run. Remember we said that in the video, slope equals rise over run. So let's see, how many do we rise? Well, I rose one, two. I see I'm on par with that next point. So I rose two. That's my change in Y. All right, rose two. And now I need my change in X. So let's see how many I ran. Now moving to the right. So it's important to note that means I'm positive. If I was moving down or to the left, that means negative. But I'm moving up and to the right. So I know it's going to be a positive slope. And I can also see this is like a roller coaster going up. So again, no, it's a positive slope. So one, two, and now let's count over. One, two, three, four. So change in y over change in x. Now you always want to reduce your slope if it's possible. Two over four reduces to one half. So I know my slope is one half. I can tell my y-intercept too pretty easily. Um, it falls very clearly at the one, two, three mark. So my y-intercept, where does my line intersect the y-axis? Right at three. So now that I know my slope and my y-intercept, it'll be really easy to write an equation. The equation will be y equals m slope one half x plus three. So there's my equation. So that was a nice little review on how to graph, how to plot points, and also how to find slope and intercept just from looking at a graph. So in my next video, we're going to get into graphing inequalities. When we have equations that have greater than and less than signs in them and how we can graph those. This has been Miss Smith with Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. Thank you.